Hi, I'm Larry Weinberg. I'm the director over at the Rome River Art Center in Anoka, and I'm very proud to have a show of my recent work, and it's the underworld, uh, sorry, underwater world of Larry Weinberg. Uh, we're at the gallery here at the Rome River Art Center, and I just wanted to kind of share with you some of my work. One of the things that was really interesting is that I saw this wall here as like a um, aquarium. And in my mind, I wanted to have all black frames so that you were looking kind of into this spot where you like a portal and looking in and seeing different scenes from underwater. And that was my aquarium wall is the idea of this wall here. So what we found out is that as we did it, we brought out some black lights that we had from a black light painting event we did a few years ago. And I said, oh my goodness, look at that. So the difference what I saw, especially even like in this one here with this octopus, is that it almost becomes 3D. And with these paintings, this painting was in Mia's foot in the door, and it's a turtle. Uh, these other ones started with coral, kind of undersea sea themes. Of all the paintings that are on the wall, for some reason this one up here is my favorite. Um, I love how this fish kind of came out of I don't know where, and he was always just looking at me, and a couple of his friends showed up too. But you can kind of see how these come to life with the black light. One of the things that I love about painting in Isla Mujeres is that it's an island of sea turtles. So sea turtles are a big part of it. You see them at night, you see babies being hatched, and they're just fascinating creatures. I don't know what was going on with this painting and I wasn't happy with it, but all of a sudden it really came together. This was an interesting painting because there was a hurricane that hit the island while we were there and it just, uh, there was a lot of turmoil in the water and in the sky and this painting came about. Um, this was one of my first sea paintings. It was back in 2017 and I just love this little um, uh, crab that I had done and decided to put it in the show even though it's watercolor. The rest of these are fluid acrylics and these were paintings that I did in Spain. The light is totally different in Spain. Where I was in Spain is Andalusia, and it overlooks Africa. More of a, uh, a bit of mountainous and deserty, but at the same time, I just love all the different things that were happening there. So these paintings were all done in a town called Frigliana, which is in Andalusia province of Andalusia in Spain and it's about 45 minutes from where Pablo Picasso was born and that's where you fly into Pablo Picasso Airport in Malaga. Again one of the things that that I really enjoy is the different kind of relationships that you do with the idea of space. Even though I'm working on a two-dimensional uh, surface, I like to try to create a three-dimensional feeling so that this sea turtle feels like he's coming right out of the canvas on this so that it's with different things in front and behind and the way his eyes and things happen, you create this kind of movement on a two-dimensional surface. And this is one of my uh, favorite paintings here. We haven't had the artist crawl for the past two years because of uh, COVID pandemic. In 2022, it's coming back, and it's coming back the last week of April, so the 30th of April and May 1st. It looks like there's going to be 11 or 12 stops. The Rome River Art Center will have four or five different artists showing here, including Larry Weinberg, my work, will be here also. And we're going to have uh, different areas throughout the art center that will set up by artists. Artists' uh, studios will be open so people can wander around and see them. But it's April 30th and May 1st uh, that the art crawl is returning. And look for the signs. There's going to be different studios throughout the whole North Metro.